Good evening. Today we'll take a look at the study by Filip Bondarenko and Alexander Kakovin. It was published in Revista Romana de Sha, 1958. White is to move and win. Black threatens to win back a white piece on f7 or h5. However, if white is able to be two pieces up in the end, he will win. With one piece up, it is a draw. He should attack the bishop on f2 or e6 to regain the black piece when black takes a white piece. However, of course, king e2 doesn't work here. Bishop takes f7, for example, is enough. So white must play knight d8. After the best defense, bishop c8, black threatens to play bishop a6 check, winning the bishop on f1. So white should play bishop e2, defending the knight on h5, which is important, for example, king e2 fails to bishop b6, bishop f6 check, king takes h5. After bishop e2, however, the black's best defense is bishop a6 check, king d2, bishop takes e2, king takes e2, bishop b6, attacking again both knights. Now white has not many possibilities. Instead of letting you uh, think about the best move I just present it it is knight f4 for reasons we will see after the only move bishop takes d8 please note that king g4 fails to either knight d e6 or knight f e6 after bishop takes d8 White must play king f3, putting black in deadly Suxwang. After bishop e7, white wins the bishop by knight g6 check. So black cannot remain on the file and has to play, for example, bishop c7 when bishop f6 check is checkmate. If he wants to prevent this, he only can play bishop g5 when bishop e1 again is checkmate.